one, two, three, Cancun, typically when the season is over. For the Warriors, they have a full week off before the NBA Finals start, and you see their history of it. It's happened multiple times, nine days, nine days, seven days in between the Finals. Uh, you know, they've won a couple of times, so it really doesn't seem like the rest matters. But Steve Kerr? You know, he seems like that one, two, three Cancun. That's what he's been doing with this full week off before the finals. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of sleep the last two days. I played golf a couple of days ago and took a long walk yesterday with uh, my wife and my dog and had brunch and it's a wonderful day. You go to the finals, it's almost a two month uh, journey filled with stress and and uh, fatigue and everything else. So if you can get a little bit of a break, it's it's very meaningful. Being able just to start at home uh, is huge, especially in the playoffs and even in the finals. Um, being able to start in the home crowd, get our routine, our home routine, the same thing we do practice-wise. Um, continue just to try to take care of business at home, how we have all series or all playoffs. Um, and then to try to get the ball rolling with the momentum that we have. Yeah, I always say like role players play better at home. I don't know what, what it is to it, but you know, just being able to do, go through your routine, uh, be able to sleep in your own bed and, and prepare uh, and then watch film at home and, and do things that you're used to, uh, it's just a lot more, a lot more comfortable. The way we ended last season, the way we started this season, our guys felt it like we can do this, but the injuries didn't allow us to really get to where we are now. It was sort of a rocky path to get here, but I, I felt good about uh, the process and, and our potential if we could get all of our key guys on the floor. Obviously with Otto, Andre, and Gary all making progress, what is just your level of optimism that those guys could potentially make an appearance in the finals? That's what we're aiming for, but uh, we'll have a better feel after the next couple of days uh, of practice. Sam, is it harder to manage your team with a week off before going into a series or just having your natural flow of, okay, we end one series like the Easter Conference Finals and go right into the NBA Finals two, three days It later? could be a detriment because as players, once you get in that mode of playing every other day or every two days, you want to go. But in this instance, the Golden State Warriors, no, because they've been down this road before. They got veterans who won multiple championships. They know how to take care of themselves. They know the necessary work they got to put in. And so they know you have to exhale and allow yourself to breathe for those first three or four days. That's what you earn by closing out a series early. But I guarantee you, they've already started that mindset right now. Looking at this game, they're already getting locked in the focus because they understand come next week, Sean, it, the chips are for real, and they have an excellent chance to go get another one. Yeah, and with the rest, you know, now Otto Porter Jr., uh, Gary Payton, yep. Andre Iguodala can get healthy. And now all of a sudden, a deep team gets even deeper. Yeah. And now for Steve Kerr, the trick is, what kind of strategy do I use against Boston, which, which is a bigger, more physical team, or Miami, which is a smaller team. Miami is more alike, as you know, the Warriors. Boss, on the other hand, will, they, will, will Golden State be able to play that small lineup against the big Celtics lineup? Al Horford. I mean, it's just, you know, uh, Robert Williams. Sean, you know Draymond Green. He threw that out there about uh, they were going to play Boston because he wants to play yeah. Miami because he <laughs> wanted to incentivize Miami. And what did Miami fail for? What did you think UD came up and said after the game? <laughs> Thank you, Draymond. And Draymond sitting there saying, yes, because look at the numbers. Miami plays like Golden State. If you're Golden State, do you really believe there's another team in this league that can pass, dribble, read and react, and outshoot us from the three-point line?